Welcome to Sir Arpy's channel. In this video, you are going to learn quadratic equations. This is the first competency to be discussed in Mathematics 9. So, learn and love math with Sir Arpy. For our session today, we have this most essential learning competency. The learner illustrates quadratic equations. Are you ready to learn? Set back, relax and get ready to learn. Do you know this equation? Did you encounter this kind of equation in your previous years? Well, this is a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation is a second degree polynomial equation that can be written in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b, c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. The highest exponent of the variable of a quadratic equation is two and the exponents of the other terms are non-negative integers, specifically 1 and 0. Let's take for example 3x squared plus 4x plus 15 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation in standard form where a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 15. But how will we know if the given equation is quadratic? And how can we identify the values of a, b, c? Note that a quadratic equation has terms. We have the first term, second term and third term. The first is a quadratic term. The second term is a linear term. And the third term is a constant term. Always remember that the coefficient a is with a quadratic term. b is in the linear term. And c is constant. Whether the terms are interchanged, when you are asked to identify the values of abc, always check the terms. Let's try an example. Determine whether 4x2 is equal to negative 4x squared minus 5 is a quadratic equation or not. Here is the solution. By looking at the given problem, we can say that it is not written in standard form. First, write or transform the given equation to standard form. Recall that the standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Then, you just apply the addition property of equality or you transpose the terms to one side of the equation. With that, we will get 4x squared plus 4x minus 2 plus 5 equals 0. Combine similar terms and we get 4x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0 since negative 2 plus 5 is equal to positive 3. We now have the quadratic equation in standard form. We have 4x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. From here, we can identify the values of a, b, c. a is equal to 4, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 3. For the second example, you try it first. I am giving you a minute to answer. Here is the example. Write the quadratic equation 5x squared minus 6x equals 7x plus 3x squared in standard form. Your one minute starts now. Time's up. Here is the solution. Again, note that the standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. First, transpose all the terms to one side of the equation. We have the given 5x squared minus 6x equals 7x plus 3x squared. We get 5x squared minus 3x squared minus 6x minus 7x equals zero. Second, Combine similar terms. 5x squared minus 3x squared is 2x squared. Negative 6x minus 7x is negative 13x. We now have 
2x squared minus 13x equals 0. Third, arrange the terms following the standard form of quadratic equation. Since it is already in standard form, we can now identify the values of ABC. A is equal to 2. B is equal to negative 13. And C is equal to 0 since there is no constant term. Now, let us try more exercises. Remember, you are to illustrate quadratic equations. Identify whether the following equations are quadratic equations or not quadratic equations. State the reason why it is a quadratic equation or not. Number 1. 5x plus 1 equals 0. Number 2. 6x squared plus 1 equals 0. Number 3. The quantity of n plus 1 times the quantity of n minus 2 equals negative 1. You are given 2 minutes to answer this. Just type your answers in the comment section. I will respond once you send your answers. Your time starts now. Time's up. Again type your answers in the comment section. I will respond once you send your answers. Now, write the following quadratic equations in standard form and identify the values of ABC. Number 1. 2x squared minus 3x equals 1. Number 2. 2 plus 4x squared equals 5x. Number 3. 3x times the quantity of x minus 2 equals 10. You are given three minutes to answer this task.
Time's up. Just type your answers in the comment section. I will respond once you send your answers. Congratulations! And thank you for participating. Before we end our session, I would like you to ponder and think of these. Can you identify the values of ABC without transforming a given quadratic equation to standard form? Why or why not? And how can you illustrate a quadratic equation? This ends our session for today. Now, try to ask yourself. Did you achieve our target for today? Were you able to illustrate quadratic equations? The answer lies on you. Thank you very much. Before I end, I would like to thank Quipper Philippines for my slides. Just a short info, Quipper is a Japanese educational technology service provider which aims to bring the best education to every corner of the world. Once again, thank you and happy learning. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to receive updates. This is Sir RP.